Welcome to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we will be solving another very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to find 4 solutions for 2x power 4 plus 7x cube minus 34x square minus 21x plus 18 equal to 0. So let's get started by checking our equation at x equal to 0. So we will write 2x power 4 value will be 0, 7x cube will be 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 18 is this equal to 0 no it is not so because of 18 cannot be equal to 0 we will write x cannot be equal to 0 for our equation now we can divide our equation by x square both sides so let me write here 2x power 4 plus 7x cube minus 34x square minus 21x plus 18 equal to 0. Let's divide by x square both sides. Divided by x square divided by x square as x cannot be 0. So we will write 2x power 4 over x square 2x square. 7x cube over x square 7x minus 34x square over x square minus 34 minus 21x over x square minus 21 over x and 18 over x square will be 18 over x square RHS will be 0. Now we will collect first term and last term of LHS in one bracket. So we will write 2x square plus 18 over x square in one bracket. Second term and second last term in one bracket 7x minus 21 over x. Then we have one term left which is minus 34. RHS is 0. Now from this bracket we can take 2 common. From this bracket, we can take 7 common. So we will get 2 times in the bracket x square plus 9 over x square plus 7 is common. So in the bracket, we can write x minus 3 over x minus 34 equal to 0. Now we will be using substitution. Let us say x minus 3 over x. Suppose this is equal to t. Now we will consider squaring both sides to find out the value of x square plus 9 over x square. So we will put power to both sides. Now we can use a minus b whole square formula. So we will write x square plus 3 over x whole square 9 over x square minus 2 times x times 3 over x equal to t square. Now we can cancel x with x. So I can write x square plus 9 over x square minus 6 equal to t square. Now we will be adding 6 to both sides to get the value of x square plus 9 over x square value will be t square plus 6. Now we are going to plug in both the values substitution as well as expression x square plus 9 over x square in terms of t. We will get our equation 2 times. We will write t square plus 6 in the bracket plus 7 times t. This would be equal to 34 or we can write minus 34 equal to 0. Or we will write 2t square plus 12 plus 70 minus 34 
equal to zero, or we will write two t square plus seventy. Twelve minus thirty four will be minus twenty two equal to zero. So finally, we have one quadratic equation in t. Now we have to solve this equation. Let me write equation here. Two t square plus seventy minus twenty two equal to zero. Now we'll be using here method of factorization. So can we write or split seventy as eleven t minus forty? So I will write two t square. Then we'll be writing minus forty. Then we will add eleven t. So value will become plus seventy. Then we have minus twenty two equal to zero. Now from first two terms we are going to take two t common out. So in the bracket we can write t minus two. From the last two terms we can take eleven common out. So in the bracket we will get t minus two once again equal to zero. Now we will take t minus two overall common, and we will write two t plus eleven in the second bracket equal to zero. Now we will use product zero rule. So we can write either t minus two equal to zero or two t plus eleven equal to zero. So from first equation we are going to get t equal to two. And from our second equation, we will write two t equal to minus eleven. We will divide both sides by two. So we are going to get t value negative eleven over two. So we have t equal to two, t equal to minus eleven over two. Now t is x minus three over x. So let me write here t equal to two, and in place of t, we'll write x minus three over x equal to two. Now we'll multiply both sides by x. So I will write here x. Here x cannot be zero. Let's expand. We'll get x square minus three equal to two x. Or we can write x square minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now we have one quadratic equation which we will solve using completing the square method. So I need to take minus 3 to the RHS. We will write x square minus 2x in the LHS, and 3 will be in the RHS. Now I need to add one to both sides, so that LHS will give us one perfect square of x minus one. And in RHS we are going to write four, which is a square of two. Now we will take a square root both sides. So I will write here x minus one whole square with a square root. Equal to two square with a square root. Now square root and square will be cancelled out. We will get x minus one equal to plus minus two. Or by adding one to both sides, we will get one plus minus two. So I can write x equal to one plus two. X equal to one minus two, so we'll be getting two x values. X one, x two, value will be three and negative one. This is from t equal to two equation. Now we will consider t equal to minus eleven over two. So in place of t, we can write x minus three over x. Will be equal to minus eleven over two. Now we will multiply our equation by two x both sides. So let me write here 
2 times x. So in the RHS, we'll write 2 times x. x cannot be 0 as we have proved earlier. Let's expand. I will write 2x square minus 6 equal to minus 11x. Or we can write 2x square plus 11x minus 6 equal to 0. Again, we will split 11x as 12x minus x. So I can write 2x square plus 12x minus x minus 6 equal to 0. Now from first two terms, we can take 2x common. From last two terms of LHS, we can take negative 1 common. So I will write here 2x in the bracket, we will write x plus 6 and minus 1 is common from third and fourth term, we will get x plus 6 equal to 0. So from here our factors will be x plus 6 times 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Again we can use product 0 rule and we can write either x plus 6 equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So from first equation, we are going to get x value negative 6. And from second equation, we are going to get x value 1 over 2. If I will write here 2x is equal to 1, and just by dividing by 2, we will be getting x half. So I can write here this is x3 and x4. So in total we have 4 real solutions. If I will write here x1 this was 3, x2 this was negative 1, x3 this is negative 6 and x4 this is half. So we have 4 real solutions in total. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.